Hey everyone, in this video we are going to see that how we can hack the admin's account of lab number 4. And this lab is somewhat more difficult compared to the other labs released so far. So let's get started. So I'm going to head over to lab number uh, to the lab section and here we have lab number 4. And by the way, lab 5 is also released. So you can check out your hacking skills on lab number 5 as well. It is simple, you just have to hack the admin's account over there as well. So let's jump to lab number 4 for now. And as you can see, we have the same functionality in the previous labs. We have a login functionality, we have a sign up functionality and we have a forgot password functionality, right? So the first thing that we need to do is we need to click on sign up. And we have to create an account over here. So I have already created my account, so I'm not going to sign up again. But you need to sign up in order to successfully hack the admin's account over here. So let me go to login. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to log in with my account. So Fayaz Ahmed.online at the rate gmail.com. I'm going to specify my password, which is nothing but Spider-Man. And hit enter. And as you can see, we successfully get logged in into this particular account. Now let's head back to the login section. And now we are again re redirected to the login page. And now we need to test each and every functionality for vulnerabilities. So I'm going to start with forward password functionality because this functionality is often abused by attackers to hack into anyone's account. So we're going to, we are going to do the same thing over here. So as you can see, it is asking for email address. So I'm going to provide mine. Ayazahamad.online at the rate gmail.com. Click on send. And it's showing that OTP sent successfully. Okay. And now let's head back to our email address. And let me refresh it. And as you can see, we have got some email from Be Practical. And now we can see that it is showing click here to verify your email address. So I'm going to copy this link and I'm going to open it with my Mozilla Firefox browser. And let us analyze the link. So this link, link looks like it contains a secret key with some random value, right? But let me tell you that this is not a random value. Instead, this is, this is some kind of hidden message hidden behind it. So first of all, let's hit enter and see what happens. And as you can see, we get logged in into the user account without any password, right? So that particular link allowed us to log in into the account without any password. What if you try to abuse this? And if we were successfully in abusing that particular functionality, which means that we can get into anyone's account without the password, right? So our first target is to identify potential vulnerabilities in that particular link. Okay, now let's head back to login. And let me paste the link over here. So let us try to analyze this particular link. So we have a domain, we have lab4, and we have a backend.php and we have a secret key parameter which has some random value. So let us try to analyze whether this random value is in hashed or maybe in encrypted format. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to tap um, and I'm going to type hash detector. And now let me click on this. And let me paste the hash over here. And let us try to analyze it. So as you can see, the hash is MD5 or it may be MD4, which simply means that the particular link which we were seeing over here, this particular value is not some random value. Instead, it has some hidden message behind it and it is encrypted in MD5. So now we have to find what this value is for that. We are going to search over here MD5 MD5 hash. And I'm going to click over here MD5 hash generator. <coughs> and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to identify potential uh, items from a user's account. For example, an account have what? An account can have a username, an account can, ha can have a password, an account can have a first name and a last name, 
and an account can have an email address right so i am going to encrypt all of these values one by one and i am trying to see whether this particular hash will match to this hash if the hash matched which means that that particular value which may be an email which may be a first name or last name is behind this particular secret key right so let's start with uh, our password which was spider man and let us click on this generate and as you can see we got the md5 value of it and let us try to uh, analyze it so it start with 9505 9f05 and wrong it starts with 0afb which means this value is not hidden behind the secret key now let us try to see what happens if i type my email address over here and let us try to click on generate and let's see what happens and as you can see we got the md5 hash which looks very similar to the hash we have uh, over here so we can see that it starts with 0 aefb8 is it also starts with 0 aefb8 it ends with cc90 907 it also ends with cc907 which means that this is the hash which was over here what does what does this mean it simply means that this email address is hidden behind this md5 key now the backend is simply validating the md5 hash and it is going to see if the hash uh, has some any email address and it is going to authenticate the user with that particular email address so what if we try to change this particular value to admin's account so i'm going to type admin at the red bpractical.tech and i'm going to encrypt it oh sorry hash it with md5 hash and we got the hash value and what if i try to copy this and put this value instead but in order for it to work we need to uh, let me click to this we actually need to modify this and we actually need let me, sorry we actually need to type admin at the red bpractical.tech so that a secret key is generated for admin's account now and we know the secret key it is nothing but an email address hidden behind an md5 hash so i'm going to send it okay and now as you can see we have already pasted our admin's accounts hashed form and i'm going to hit enter now perfect as you can see we successfully got logged in into the admin admin's account so this kind of vulnerability also happens in real world as well this vulnerability is nothing but a result of a weak cryptographic implementation so i hope you can understand so so i hope you understand how we can hack into lab number 4 using the forgot password functionality if you have any doubt then leave your doubt in the comment section and i'll try to solve it thanks for thanks for watching